My name is Lina Rodriguez Salamanca. I'm an extension plant pathologist with the Plant and Insect Diagnostic Clinic. And in the clinic, we identify mushrooms. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use our mushroom identification form and how to collect a sample. Once you find your mushroom that you want to identify, what we hope for you to do is first observe the mushroom and before you touch it or disturb it, do take some pictures. Take a picture from the top and also from the side. Make sure to play around with your device so that it is focused. After you're done with the picture, we want to make sure that you have some sort of uh, size reference. In this case, the knife is what I'm using, but a ruler, a coin, or any other uh, object that will tell us what is the size will help us. So first, make sure that you fill out all the information, your information, your phone number, your email, so that we can contact you. Now, if you can, do include the height and the width of the specimen. And if they are multiple mushrooms or a single one, um, and if they are united at the base. This ones are all united at the base. You see that? So in the form, I would then select their multiple and they're joined at the base. The color of this one, well, colors are subjective, but you can say is whitish to cream. And the picture will help us too with the description of the color. Now the smell is what the picture will not capture. So if sometimes mushrooms um, have a characteristic smell. It could be sweet uh, or it could be uh, more of a rotted type of uh, smell. So anything, if you detect it in this case, these ones are, they don't have any specific uh, smell. And the shape, you can either describe it or just give us a, a good, um, drawing of what you see in here. You have um, a stem and then you have a cap. So in this case, I just draw what I saw. So once you're ready to collect the specimen, make sure that you're gentle and disturb a little bit so that you can see where is the base of the specimen. We want you to avoid cutting at the base. If possible, go with a trowel under or with a knife. Because the base of the mushroom gave us some information too. Now, you see on this particular cluster, we have different age mushrooms. The buttons here, they are not open yet and they're immature. Avoid to send us this one. We want to see a mature um, mushroom but not as dried um, as the ones that we saw over there that are completely uh, mature. Then here I was able to get the base of the mushroom and also some of the mycelia. You see the strands here? Mushrooms, they have their main body, it's called mycelia, and it leaves either underground or associated with trees or tree roots. So we also want to see this strands if possible. Now, for us it's really important that the gills or the pores stay intact. And this is the part where it's really important how you package the mushroom. If you package the mushroom, avoid any plastic uh, materials, plastic bags or, or anything plastic. We uh, really like to uh, use paper bags and, or uh, wax paper is another very good um, material to pack mushrooms. So as you can see, those guys are all united at the base. And we want to keep them that way as much as possible. Some mushrooms are flat, so mushroom won't, won't have the stalk and they're easy to pack. Well, these babies here, they have a stalk, so we have to be mindful of the stalk. So what we wanna do is pack this mushrooms facing with the cap facing down so that hopefully the stem stays attached and we can put the other ones in there too. Once 
once you're done, you can close your bag and label it. Now if you're submitting different mushrooms, please label them, pack them in separate bags and label them separately so that you remember which one is which and that will help us to, to give you the identification report um, following your nomenclature. So once you have your specimen packed, make sure to keep it away from direct sunlight um, and in a cool location. Uh, but for identification, try and mail it the same day and overnight so that it gets as fresh as possible to us. And you can put it in your in a box, sturdy box, so that it won't be crushed. And if you want to add some paper or packing peanuts or anything that you have to protect it from moving, and make sure to fill out your identification form and put it with the package. And then your mushroom is ready to be sent.